Getting started with AeroTracker. Visit www.aerotracker.io. Registering for an AeroTracker account. Click User, then create a free account. Enter your full name, email address, and password. Confirm your password once more, then agree to the terms and conditions and click Register. Signing into your AeroTracker account. Click User. Enter email address and password. Click Sign In. Once you are logged in, you will see the number of drones currently flying in the top left corner. Click on the drone to view more information about this drone flight and track the drone in real time. User Profile Settings Click User View your AeroTracker plan details. Click Manage Subscription. You will be taken to a Stripe web page, where you can amend your subscription play and make payment. Add an asset. Then click the eye icon to view the location on the map. Click the Sensors tab to view the sensors linked to your account. You can see the sensor type, status, whether the sensor is public, and the sensor's location and history. Click Profile to change the account holder's name. Click Password to update the account's password. Click Username to update the email address associated to the AeroTracker account. Click Settings to change your measurement units in AeroTracker. You can also display a range ring to visually show a drone's proximity to an asset when looking at the map. Click My Drones to add drones to your profile and whitelist. Enter a drone's serial number to add to my drones. Please note, as drones are only assigned their unique 3 ID once detected by AeroTracker, whitelisting is only possible after the drone's first system detection. Click the Colors tab to amend the color identification of each type of drone. Please note, only drones in the own or whitelisted category can be set by the AeroTracker user. Drones which aren't in this category will be auto-categorized by preset classifiers in AeroTracker. Select the last tab to log out of AeroTracker. How to use map filters. Choose which aircraft types you would like visible. Enter a specific aircraft model for tracking purposes. Tick whether you would like the anti-drone spoofing filter on. Enable or disable any particular sensors linked to your account. Filter by a specific altitude and or speed. Click Filter to confirm filter choices. A range of map settings are available to AeroTracker Cloud users. Use the search function to find a specific location. Tick to show airports. Tick to show airspace restrictions in the UK, USA and or Singapore. Bookmark locations of interest. Search for the location and click at. Change the map style depending on your preference. Choose from dark, light, 
street, satellite, and hybrid. Add wind, cloud, and precipitation filters in weather control. Accessing flight history. Click history. Choose a sensor or zone from the data source drop down. Select a start and end date range. Enter any additional information such as flight ID, altitude, aircraft type, etc. Click Filter to search. A chart overview of the flights found will be shown. Underneath that, a rundown of each flight will be detailed, along with its Drone 3 ID. You are also able to replay every flight by clicking the Replay button. Use the Play, Fast Forward and Pause buttons in the bottom right corner to move through the flight replay. View the flight heat map to identify the pilot's areas of interest. View the pilot heat map to identify the controller location. Download the drone flight incident report to receive a full breakdown of the flight. Returning back to the history page, click the globe icon and you will be shown a full view of all historical flights found. Click the heat map icon to identify any trends or key areas of interest for these flights. Set zones in Aero Tracker by clicking Zones. Your existing zones will be visible, with the option to add a new zone. Choose between polygon or circle zone shapes, depending on the premises in question. Find the desired area on the map, then click the map to drop your zone perimeter. If necessary, click Edit to amend the shape points. Click Save and complete the zone profile including zone name. Click to add a circle zone. Click the point of interest and drag the circle out to create the circle zone. Once complete, click save and fill in all the zone details. Click save. Click the eye icons to view the zones. View the zone history. View zone history statistics. Edit zone or delete the zone. Find out more about Aero Tracker.
Read more in-depth descriptions about the system, our drone leader bought. Find out how to get in touch. And take a look at our Aero Tracker subscription packages.